Hey, what's up guys? I thought today we'd talk a little bit about this microwave sensor that I picked up a few weeks ago. So I finally had uh, a chance to get into it and play around with it a little bit. And it is a uh, neat little circuit. It's basically made up of two parts. There is the uh, microwave transmitter receiver mixer part. And then there's a lower frequency oscillator that's based on this chip here, the uh, RCWL9196. And that's chip is very similar to the uh, BISS001 chip used in PIR motion detectors. It's pretty cool. So from what I can figure out and the information that I have found, um, this transistor here uh, creates the high frequency oscillations. And if you saw the original where I opened this and everything, I said I thought this was the antenna. This is not the antenna. This part right here is the actual antenna. And this part right here, along with this part right here, form key parts of a coal pits oscillator. This acts as what's called a microline inductor and this is a microline capacitor. And if you look at it, there are two conductors separated by an insulator. That's exactly what it is. So I think that is a really cool way to do this. This whole microwave design thing is beyond me. Nothing I ever studied or understand at all. So this unpopulated component here labeled CDS is for a, uh, an LDR, a light dependent resistor. You can plug that into there, and uh, then it'll only work when it's dark. So if we take a closer look at the header here, we have the CDS, which is the uh, output or for the uh, resistor for the LDR. Then we have VN, and it is uh, good up to 24 volts. There's our output, our ground, and then we also have a 3.3 volt out. So you could actually uh, use this to power, say, like an Arduino Pro Mini or something along those lines. But there's a lot of uh, tiny little passive components over here. And if we take a look at the schematic, hold on. If we take a look at the schematic, we can see base the two basic parts to the circuit. Over here, we have the... Uh, high frequency oscillator. And that's basically a coal pits oscillator formation. There's our antenna. A little squiggle right there. Then over here we have the low side of the uh, the circuit. This is that chip, the RC WL9196. And basically what it's doing is it's mixing the reflected signal from the radar with the transmitted signal so they arrive at a frequency difference and when this chip picks up that frequency difference that's what triggers the output here on pin 2 which comes over to the header um, it's using a low pass filter right here and that's kind of what's filtering everything out to make it work it's very it's, it's a simple circuit but it's really neat the way it's implemented um, you know something like this a few years ago didn't even exist so Oh, man, engineering is just advancing by leaps and bounds. Okay, so I've got it hooked up here to 6 volts, and it's hooked up to just uh, a simple LED with a 330 ohm resistor. And we scare it. There we go. It comes on. And that's about all there is to that. These things are uh, super cheap. Let me see what I paid for it. I think it was like a buck ninety nine, a dollar fifty nine, and I got two of them. So hey, for a, you know for a buck sixty, you can get two of these. That's not a not too bad at all. All right, just a short one today. Hope you guys enjoyed this look at the uh, RWCL nine one nine six microwave sensor.
If you did, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. That's it. I'm out. Peace.